All right, part of your lab. Here's part one. If you follow your lab with this, this is what's happening here. If you take the motion sensor up here to this here, and what you'll be doing is basically letting the car go, if you follow here. Now, first of all, you make your prediction. <laughs> make your prediction, okay? Well, what would happen? What's gonna happen is it's gonna go down like this, and you're gonna draw a position time graph and a velocity time graph. That's your goal, okay? That's your goal one. You do that first. Then you pause the video, okay? And then you see if you're right. And on behind me, you'll see the graph. Let's see if you're correct. Again, check and correct. You actually do it and correct it. Okay, here we go. Step one, if you read it, follow along. This will be four parts here. Number one, without using motion detector, okay, observe what's happening. What you're gonna do is put it up here, okay? And you're gonna let it go. Predict what's happening. Pause the video, make your prediction, and now let's see what happens. Okay. Notice what happens here? Observe this. You know how much I held it up here for a little second here? And then all of a sudden went down. Okay. All right. That's number one. Okay. Number two. Ready for number two? Number two, what's happened here is you're going to give the, um, you know, I'm going to move this um, motion sensor down here. Okay. Move the cart right here. Move it so that it's actually going to face it. Maybe, if I can, okay. And what I'll be doing is um, give the initial car a little push and then come back down again, okay? It will stop, okay. Oh, and I need to stop the car at the highest point here. So I'm gonna come up here and I'll stop it, okay? Make your prediction, what's it gonna look like? It's gonna move up here and stop. What would the position time graph look like? What the velocity time graph look like? How's the acceleration? Look at graph carefully here. How will the arrows go up? Now remember, I also have a video on there with a basketball, remember? Same idea, okay? So here we go. Here's number two. Predicting, now here's the video. Okay, so here. I'm gonna do that one again. <laughs> I'll do that one again. Okay? Let's see if I can do that again. Okay? No, don't either. Let's see if I can do that again. So I'm gonna push it up, make sure it's straight here, and catch it. I'm hoping to. I'm trying to get this. Here we go. All right, here we go. Oh, that's much better. That's much better. Okay? That's number two. <laughs> that's number two. Number three. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. Motion sensor's down here. Now this next one, if you read the next one here, okay, what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna have a start at here and it's gonna move toward here, okay? So draw the ramp. First of all, again, you're making predictions. It's very, more, very important you make the predictions first. Determine what's going on here, okay? And then you observe the motion as a cart so the resting position up here and rolls toward the motion detector. So here you go. What would that look like, okay? Now keep in mind, okay, what direction this is going. It's going to your right, okay? Okay, and it's coming towards you, and you're gonna predict what it looks like. Then you're gonna check and correct. So let me see if I can do this, okay? All right, here we go. All right, make a prediction. Okay, what's nice about these videos, you can stop and look at them again. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay, let's see if I can, I don't wanna hit the ring. Okay, let's do that again. That's not too bad, but I wanna do a better one, okay? Okay. All right, let me see if I can do this here. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. See if I can do it better this time, okay? I'm doing it by myself here. Okay, now right here is where I caught it, okay? So look what happens here. It kind of curves a little bit downward, okay? Here, velocity-wise, um, didn't like to change at all. See how that worked, okay? All right. I did it twice. I think the second one's a little better. Now let's look at number four. Number four. All right, here's number four. Here's number four. Number four, I'm going to come back up here, okay? Put the motion detector up here, number four. And it says I'm going to be, um, I'm going to um, start at the bottom here and get the car to push up the ramp and stop at the highest point here. So it's much like the last one, but now I'm going the opposite direction here. So make a prediction, okay? 
I'll clear this, make a prediction, stop the video, think what's going to be, go through the lines and so forth. And again, go online here. I'll have some questions online for this too. Check and correct on this, okay? Um, so let's look at the next one here, okay? So I'm going to hit, I'm going to push it up and stop it. Okay, here we go. Okay. Let's do that again. All right, come on. Okay. All right, next one. Uh, okay, here we go. All right, I'm going to see if I can do a better job this time. Okay. I'm going to try to push it up and stop it. <laughs> okay. Oh, I hope I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't do a good job. Let's try it again. <laughs> All right, come on. All right, let's try it again. I'm going to try and stop with this time, okay? All right. All right, I'm going to push it up and stop. Okay. Okay, here we go. That's a little bit better. That's a little better. You see where I caught it, okay? That's when curves down here. So basically, I held it here and so forth, okay? Now, I want to do one more for you, okay? This is a little extra here, okay? So pay close attention. This time, I'm going to let it go up like this and come back down. I'm going to do a little both here, okay? Now, before I do this, I want you to predict what's going to happen there. Think what's going to happen, okay? I'm going to push it up here and come back down. What would that look like? You understand this one? Awesome. So this is the culmination of everything here. Ready? All right. I think I'll do this one right because it's a little easier to do, okay? All right. No. Okay. Here we go. Last one. Yay! All right. Okay. Let's try. All right. I'm going to push it up and... Oh, that's a good one. I'm gonna do that again. Do that one again. Okay. Do a better job on that one, okay? Same thing, I'm gonna try to push it a little higher. That didn't turn as well. The first one was better. Okay, one more time here. Let's see if you'll get right here. Make sure it's straight here. It's gotta reflect off this, and maybe it's not reflecting off it properly, okay? I know it's supposed to look like. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> that worse. Okay. One more time. A bit better the first time. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to get it right there. Just right. I'm going to get it right there. Here we go. I'm going to get it right now. Here we go. Perfect. As, as perfect as I can to get. Okay? That's what happens when it goes up and comes back down. Let's try to understand it a little bit, okay? So basically, this part here is where I was, I was holding it. The timer was going, so I'd ignore this first part. Like the other ones, kind of ignore the first part because it just, it wasn't doing much, okay? So then it goes up, okay? So position time graph, it goes in this direction here, okay? It's going to the left, negative direction, okay? Let's understand this here. So let me explain this one. Maybe the other ones may make more sense too. Okay, this is like number five here for new five. So it's going negative direction, but notice the slope here. Because what's happening here, it's going to have, the slope here is basically is a steeper slope here than it is here. Steeper slope then at the very end, that means it's slowing down. Of course it's slowing down. Gravity's pulling it down. So it's going to slow down. And sure, that shows it. Then it reaches a point, right here is where it stops. Here it stops. How do I know? Because there's no slope here. There's no velocity. On a velocity time, position time graph, there's velocity. It's your slope. There's none there. Okay? And then it comes back down. It goes, it speeds up, but goes in a positive direction because it's going to the right, okay? And speeds up. How do I know? Because slope increases. And this is where, of course, I caught it here, okay? The velocity time graph, um, I have to exaggerate this. What happened was, I was going to draw, draw on this, is oh, maybe, okay. it's, it comes down like this, and then it comes back up like this, okay? Which makes sense. What's happening here is speeding up, or, or um, try this again, okay. On a velocity time graph, um, it, it's, um, I, first of all, I'll shove it, or push it, and it goes like this, okay, and then, of course, it hits zero. Where it hits zero? Right here is where it hits zero. Look, it hits zero, okay? Now, it stayed at zero for a while, didn't it? Because the velocity was zero here, okay? And then it goes in a positive direction, and speeds up, so it goes like, it goes like this, okay? Now, it curves a little bit. You know we don't have curved lines on velocity time graphs, okay? Well, I hope that helps. Watch this again. Follow the lab. I'll have some questions on this. 
keep keep classy, Spartans.